On Wednesday night, more than a dozen train cars derailed onto this property here near 136th Street in Blue Island. The incident led police to discover 40 suspicious vehicles here on the property. They belong to a client of ours. Nick Arnavaz says about 15 vehicles parked in the back of his property were damaged Wednesday night when a train derailed near 136th and Thornton in Blue Island. Kind of shocked. I didn't know what was going on. 13 empty train cars tipped over onto his property, smashing vehicles and tearing down a fence. No one was injured in the derailment and no hazardous materials were spilt. The Federal Railroad Administration monitored the derailment. Arnavas says he's curious to learn how the CSX train came off the tracks. This turn here, this curve here, they're usually doing like one to two miles an hour. They're never speeding. So who knows what happened last night? I, we'll find out sooner or later. As crews work to upright the train cars Thursday, Blue Island police arrived on the property, but they weren't here for the train. Police were focused on the damaged vehicles and other vehicles parked along the back fence. Because the suspicious nature of uh, vehicles all in one area at one time, and it's not a current tow yard in this area. Blue Island police say they were tipped off to the suspicious vehicles following the derailment calling in the Illinois State Auto Theft Task Force to assist. Police ran VIN numbers on each of the vehicles to determine if they were stolen. So that's how we just identify the cars right now, especially with um, the, the unfortunate number of cars that are stolen. Police were on scene for several hours, speaking to the owner of the cars, who runs a business buying used vehicles and selling parts. It was determined the vehicles were legally purchased and not stolen. However, they are illegally stored here. Both the owner of the property and the business owner he's leasing the parking space to are now facing fines upwards of $20,000. And the property owner says the railroad company has told him they'll be covering the costs to fix the damaged fence. Reporting in Blue Island, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.